Hey Cappies, welcome to your weekly love reading for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is from October 12th to the 21st. Capricorns, your energy kind of made me a little bummed. No, not bummed, like I feel for you. Okay, I feel for you with the energy I was picking up on. Um, so going into the meditative session, sorry, I'm like, I just jumped over my usual intro, but I just, I'm sucked into it, so let's just roll with it, okay? Keep in mind the energy I'm talking about right now is energy that I picked up in and around you. So it's energy you could be experiencing directly or someone within your environment or someone you're energetically attached to. And yes, it can be reversed or vice versa. So switch it up if you have to. I saw a shark. Saw a shark. Don't be scared. Don't be scared, Caps. Not what you think. And actually, it's kind of ironic that I said that um, now that I think about it. Capricorns, I saw a shark. I love sharks. They're beautiful creatures. They really are. They're really amazing. I know people are terrified of them. They're absolutely terrified, but they're amazing creatures. They're very majestic. Um, they're just fascinating. They're fascinating creations of nature, like if you really think about it. And they're very misunderstood. Capricorns, you're being perceived as a shark. Okay. And I want to say perceived. I want to say perceived. I mean, shark is not a bad totem to have, actually. It's kind of a badass totem to have, I'm just saying. Um, but like I said, they're misunderstood. And Capricorns, I think that's what's going on here. You're very misunderstood right now. At least the Capricorns I'm tapped into. I do feel for a lot of you this isn't within the workplace or in your professional dealings. It could also be in romance or your family or friends or otherwise, right? Um, and Capricorns, you already get a misunderstanding rap. It's not the proper English, but you know what I'm saying. Stereotyped. Thank you. That's the word. Um, you do typically get stereotyped or cast as the whole, like, cold and stoic and you know but you you've got such a soft heart you're such a teddy bear deep down and i don't even it's not even that you guys are stoic it's so funny everyone says that about capricorns i've never met a capricorn that i felt was stoic or cold ever but maybe i'm biased i could be biased i'm a cappy man i could be biased <laughs> um but i never have i honestly never have it's like and maybe oh actually i guess that's because i'm also very intuitive it's like i can pick up on people's energy really well most capricorns have big ass hearts got a lot of love just big teddy bears that really just like want to be loved on you know or actually they like giving they're quite givers actually they do like to give um uh but capricorns you're being you're being um perceived as kind of a threat you're, people are really easily intimidated by you, or at least there's someone in particular. I do feel for a lot of you, like I said, this is workplace, so just keep that in mind. It doesn't have to be just romance, but you're, you, someone's intimidated by you right now. Intimidated by you, kind of sees you as a threat a little bit, like, almost like, oh, oh, like, I can't confront Capricorn. I can't confront Capricorn. I can't talk to Capricorn. I can't approach Capricorn. Capricorn's a big scary shark. They're gonna take a bite out of me. I can't deal with Capricorn. Especially if this is like workplace for you. It's almost like people will automatically assume that they, they're they gonna have to fight with you. But I don't, it's like Capricorn, again, I've never met a Capricorn that like goes into a, like a fighting frenzy. Like, you know, like I don't know why frenzy just came out. Oh, I guess like sharks like feeding frenzy. Um, but you're being perceived as a shark and Capricorn, I feel like you feel it, you feel it, and it's like you feel kind of isolated because of it. You feel a little isolated, you feel a little you feel a little alone in it, where it's just kind of like, I'm just a misunderstood teddy bear and everyone thinks that, everyone thinks I'm a shark. It's like, <laughs> you know, and like when it comes to your business dealings, like I said, for Lottie, this is definitely work-related, Cappies. Um, and when it comes to business, it's never personal. Some people don't learn that. Capricorns, you know that. It's like you're born with that motto. It's business, it's not personal. Um, it's not. And so people want to automatically think you're just kind of cold or out too alpha or too cutting or too eager to take a bite out of somebody or too eager to like put your opinion in there or say what's what or do what's got to get done. But that's how business works, right? That's how business works, Capricorn. But you're being perceived as otherwise. And if this is a romantic situation, someone's very intimidated by you. Someone sees your power. That's the thing about shark totem. It's a lot of power. That's a lot of power, which it makes it a beautiful animal totem, honestly. And Capricorns, I feel like you've 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 already had that power naturally, but some of you have come into some more power recently, whether you've gotten a promotion or you just are more confident in yourself, in your business dealings, or any or the way you deal with people. You're just a lot more confident in who you are and what you want. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. But some people are definitely taking it the wrong way because of their own insecurities, okay? So don't get too bogged down by it. But I'm definitely tapping some Capricorns that are a little a little sad right now. They're a little sad. They're feeling a little, like, 
a little bit like an outcast, but it's kind of like, well, screw it. I'm a cap, you know, screw it. I'm Capricorn and I am fabulous. But at the end of the day, it's like, you don't want people to be intimidated by you. And like, I know you know that, like, cause I'm feeling it from you. I'm feeling it from you. You don't want people to be intimidated by you. You just are who you are. You're not a big scary shark. There's the big old teddy bear. Okay. Um, but that's what I'm picking up in the, in the meditative session with you, Cappies. So let's go ahead and get into the pre-shuffle. For those who are new to my channel, I do like to do the pre-shuffle on screen. And then we're going to go ahead and do the tarot reading. Okay. Keep in mind, pre-shuffle kit is usually messages that pertains to, re to the reading. Sometimes we get extra messages, um, but they usually pertain to the reading. Usually. And I, I just cut my hair. I swear my hair has been growing faster and faster and faster. <laughs> anyway. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, October 12th to the 21st. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, October 12th to the 21st. I'm getting lemons. Why am I getting lemons? It's not the right season for lemons, <laughs> right? They're not a winter fruit. I never think of them as a winter fruit or a fall fruit. I mean, I guess depending on where you are, like in California, we can grow lemons during the fall. Um, but I don't know, something about lemons. Maybe you guys are like making a, a lemon cake. I just got lemon cake. That's interesting. By the way, I love lemon cake personally. It's my favorite. Um, but something about lemons here. Something about lemons. I think you guys are just cooking. I don't I don't know the spiritual meaning behind lemons intuitively. Mm, what if it's for protection? Or clearing or cleansing. 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 Yeah, I feel like that's about cleansing, Capricorns. Cleansing here. Um, you, some of you guys might be doing a detox. Some of you guys might feel like you need to cleanse your energy. I feel like it's relating to these people who are intimidated by you. You might, you might just need to clear out your energy a little bit here, Capricorns, you know, because it's like when people are intimidated by you, sometimes they unknowingly send you negative energy. Make sure you're just clearing that out so that that doesn't stick with you, you know, even if it is just from a false perception. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who... Why am I slipping off my chair? Hold on. <laughs> okay. I'm short. So. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, October 12th to the 21st. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, October 12th to the 21st. Capricorns, I know I've gotten this message a lot before, and if I get messages repeatedly, guess what? Maybe you're still working through that energy. Um, uh, where you're being watched, I do feel eyes on you. And I feel like that is because people are kind of intimidated by you, but they're intimidated by you because your power. It's like, in a way they, they admire that. So it's kind of like, Oh, Capricorn. Oh, Capricorn. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, people are kind of taken aback by you right now, by your efforts, by the way you look, you just, you've come into some confidence and power and it's, it's, they can't take their eyes off of you for better or for worse, for better or for worse. But I do feel for some of you that is also romantic interest, but because they're a little intimidated, they're not really doing much about it, okay? Closing forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Oh, hoo, hoo, five of wands in reverse. Leo energy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'd say you're trying really hard to get away from these people who are intimidated by you, because sometimes when people are intimidated, they lash out. So most stay away if they're intimidated because they just they're intimidated. But for some people, they have that defense mechanism. If they're, if they're intimidated, they have to lash out and let you know you're not as awesome as you think you are. Only because I'm threatened. <laughs> you know, getting away from that, getting away from that. Also, um, I feel like for those of you who are who do have romantic interests, but they're just intimidated, intimidated, excuse me, by you, they're trying to get rid of their inner conflict about it. They're trying to. Either way, Capricorn, you're done dealing with people who want to lash out at you, who want to take you, take you down a peg unnecessarily, or take away your power. You're done with that. You're done with that bullshit. You're, if they want to label you a shark, be a shark. Why not, right? Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. Oh, I just thought of a really good name for this title. Hold on. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little ADD today. I've had a lot going on. Um, oh, perfect. Sorry. I was gonna forget. Oh, that's cute, okay. 
Okay. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. Yeah. Hierophant and reverse Taurian energy. Systems, the patriarchy, right? Patriarchy, institutions. Yeah. You just... It's interesting, Capricorn, because like I said, you've come into some power here. You've come into some power. And when you come into power, like I said, you kind of rub people the wrong way, no matter who you are, even if you're a cross watcher, it just happens. And so people who are rule followers or people who run institutions or what have you, they don't like people who have power. They don't like it. They don't like it. They're threatened by it. it makes them feel uneasy. <laughs> Makes them feel uneasy. And I feel like this is you rubbing people the wrong way. Kind of like making institutions, red tape, bureaucratic bullshit, like, mm, like not happy. A lot of you, this is the workplace. A lot of you, this is the workplace. Uh, I'm also getting that. I don't think someone broke a commitment with you, Capricorn. But it's like, again, I'm getting that romantic energy that some of you have been dealing with where it's like they're intimidated by you. So they're trying to get rid of their inner, their inner conflict about it. But Hierophant in reverse, it's like they're having a really hard time. They're having a really hard time doing that, okay? Yeah, I don't think they broke a commitment. I actually think they want commitment with you, Capricorn. I think they actually want commitment with you. But they're trying to get rid of this inner conflict first. Wow. Three of Wands in reverse, Aries energy. King of Wands in reverse, Leo energy, kills be fire or air. And then we have the Chariot in reverse, Cancerian energy. Yeah, those, those in that romantic situation here where they're intimidated by you. If we just, so take away the Three of Wands in reverse for a second. King of Wands in reverse, the chair in reverse. This is the epitome of commitment issues, right? But we've got the three of wands in reverse in front of that. This is not wanting that anymore. Like I said, they want commitment with you. They're just intimidated. They're just intimidated. Uh, for those where it's more of like a work-related issue, someone in your workplace, probably a boss, because there's a King of Wands, probably a boss figure of some kind or some or someone of your same stature, because I do feel a lot of you are bosses or managers or or you know, someone who, who delegates and manages people, um, is trying to get in your way. Trying to get in your way because they're threatened by you. Let's see what else we got here. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Capricorn, Sun, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, October 12th to the 21st. Oh, okay, that's it. That's it, Cappies. Um, yeah, so this is going to be interesting. Let's go ahead and get into this reading. For those who are new to my channel and new to Tarot, please understand that these uh, messages are not going to be for everybody. They're very general. Messages come through for those who need them, as you heard me set the intention. So just know that. If it's not your week, it's not your week. Nothing wrong with that, okay? No hate, no shade. Check out another reader. Also, guys, we are working with energy, so just know that messages can be reversed or vice versa, as I said before. Gender of the cards does not matter. We all have masculine and feminine energy. We're focusing on energies, not gender, okay? And this is a time frame of the 12th to the 21st, but whenever you're guided to watch reading is when you're guided to watch it. Time is not linear, okay? Okay. Any messages for Capricorn? Any messages for Capricorn regarding love, October 12th to the 21st? Any messages for Capricorn regarding love, October 12th to the 21st? Any messages for Capricorn regarding love, October 12th to the 21st? Any messages for Cap... They're showing me a couple weird things. If any of you have seen the movie Practical Magic, love that movie. That was like, I think that was the first movie I ever saw with Nicole Kidman. Yeah, it was. It was the very first movie I ever saw with Nicole Kidman when I was a kid. And I saw it in the theater. Oh, my God. It was like, oh, my God, I love her. But anyway, it automatically became like one of my all time favorite movies when I saw it. Um, they showed me a scene from the beginning. Not to ruin it for you guys. Spoiler alert. Skip a few seconds if you don't want to know this. Um, in the beginning, we're like their kids right? And they're getting taunted. Um, and that phrase, they just, they told me that phrase, with the sweet comes the sour. That's interesting. With the sweet comes the sour. Capricorns, I think this is relating again to like that shark energy that people want to label you with. Because Capricorns, like I said, you're sweet. You are. You're sweet and you're loving. Um, but at the same time, when it comes to certain things, you have to be a little sour because it's not personal. 
right? It's not personal. It's just some things have to be said. Some things have to be done. And that just is what it is. And people do retaliate against you uh, for that. And then, they, and then they were like showing me little like snippets of Wicked, like the actual Broadway production, which I thought was really interesting. Um, yeah, Capricorn, I feel like you guys have just been really misunderstood for a long time. And I don't think this is a new pattern for you. And you're just kind of tired of it. You're kind of tired of it. And you're getting to that point where it's like kind of like in Wicked, where it's like, if that's what you want me to be, I can be that. If you really think I'm like that, I can really take it there. You know, it's like some of you are getting to that place where you're ready to push back a little bit. And specifically for those in the workplace. If it's romantic, again, I really just feel like someone's intimidated by you, Capricorn. And they want commitment. They want to come in. But they just, they, they got to get over their own internal shit about it. Okay? Any messages for Capricorn regarding love? October 12th to the 21st. By the way, using a uh, Alice in Wonderland deck today, or Terra Wonderland is the actual name of it. I, I don't really prefer it, but something called called me to it for you guys today. Any messages for Capricorn regarding love? Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, Six of Cups. What did I say, Cappy? Six of Cups, Scorpionic Energy. Go see Past Life Soulmate Karmic Energy. This is love. This is butterflies. This is excitement. Oh, Cappies. Mm, cappies. Someone really does a lot of feelings for you. They're just intimidated. <laughs> They're just intimidated here, okay? I'm also getting more of those, like, um, more of, like, the, yeah, more of just, like, the teddy bear you. The real you. More of that, like, just sweet, yummy energy, like, very giving. Very giving, very nurturing. Oh. And people just don't see that. To no fault of your own. Don't blame yourself, Capricorn. Ain't your fault. Not your fault that people can't see you. That's that's their fault. Any messages for Capricorn regarding love? October 12th to the 21st. Any messages for Capricorn regarding love? October 12th to the 21st. Some of you could be um, really engaged with your kids right now. I don't know why I'm getting that. Some of you could be really engaged with your kids or your children right now for some reason, like feeling they need to be really close to them. I mean, it is like we're, com we're coming into holiday time, right? So maybe you're just like trying to plan with your kids, like Halloween stuff, October stuff, or what's to come for November and then December and January, you know, just the big holiday season. I do feel a lot of you doing that, Capricorns. Any messages for Capricorn? Any messages for Capricorns regarding love? Yeah, I'm gonna, I just heard costumes. I just heard costumes. So you guys are making costumes. That's really cool. That's cute. Making costumes for your kids. I like that. Uh, let's see. Any messages for Capricorns regarding love? Oh, that's too many. Mm -mm. Spirit, that's too many. Any messages for Capricorn regarding love? October 12th to the 21st. Speaking of, I don't even have a costume yet. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Cappy's, you ready? Ooh, looky, looky, looky. Eight of Wands, Sagittarian energy with the Fool. Aries energy could also be Aquarius because there's a Uranus card with a King of Pentacles. Taurian energy could also be Earth or Air. This is your, um, this is the king to your sign. You're the Queen of Pentacles in the tarot decks. So I just want to point that out. But yeah, someone wants to talk, Capricorn. Someone wants to talk, someone wants to talk, someone wants to flirt, someone wants to take a chance, someone wants to provide for you, someone wants to be committed, someone also wants to give you some love and emotion. Oh, I like this. I really like it, Capricorn. I think some of you, some of you are going to have a hard time with this, actually, because you're usually so misunderstood. Um, I think you're just not used to that. I think you're just not used to that kind of energy where it's just like, Hey, Capricorn, and just like kind of put it out there because you usually are misunderstood. Interesting. I like it. This person, I think, is the one that has been getting over their inner conflicts about things. Uh, for those where you've been struggling in the workplace where people are intimidated, I think you're actually going to take a chance and just tell people what's what. Some of you might also be taking a chance in moving or shifting careers or moving cities with that fool and the eight of wands. Eight of wands is travel, like, you you know, usually like um domestic, like within within country, put it that way, within country kind of movement here in the fool. That's taking a big ass chance, a big ass risk. Some of you might even be a last minute decision, okay? Some of you could also be moving back home, back to where you grew up, back to your hometown or wherever it is that you feel mo most, most happy, most like, oh. Oh, most like that. Any messages for Capricorn regarding love? Ay. <laughs> Nine of Wands, Sag energy. And there's the wall. 
There's the guard of intimidation. We'll just call this Mr. Intimidation. Or Mr. Intimidated. I like that. This is Mr. Intimidated. <laughs> Wait, is that Tweedledee? Hold on. Oh yeah, it is. It's one of the Tweedles. <laughs> anyway, uh, Mr. Intimidated. Mr. Intimidated. Okay. Um, whether again it's work or it's family or it's this romantic interest, there's the defense. Any other messages for Capricorn regarding love, October 12th to the 21st? Any other messages for Capricorn? Oh, overall energy. We've got the Ace of Wands. I like it. Underneath that, we've got the Two of Pentacles in reverse. Capricorn energy making that decision to go for a new beginning here. Yeah, Capricorns. I feel like some of you are so sick of... Oh. I think some of you guys are so sick of your work environment or your family environment or your home environment where people are just intimidated by you. And it's like, you know what? I, I'm, I'm going to go take a chance elsewhere. Uh, some of you could even be starting your own business, actually, because you're so sick of being, you know, mislabeled or misunderstood or what have you. So sick of this kind of energy. Keep in mind, Capricorns, because you have been so misunderstood, you could also be taking on this energy. So just keep that in mind. You don't want to do that with whatever newness you're going into. For those of this, this is a romantic interest who wants to talk to you, wants to flirt with you, take a chance on you. They want a new beginning with you. They want a new beginning with you. OK, and I do feel with the two of Pentacles in a verse that there's like clearing out. A little bit of like daily shit like let's say for example like you wake up you go to the gym you go to a hobby you go to work and then you go do something else another hobby like a hobby is getting dropped you know what I mean like something in the daily routine is getting dropped to do this on, on their end is kind of what it feels like here um but it feels good it feels really positive no matter what Capricorn whether this is you going out on your own breaking out on your own away from your current environment business or family or friends or otherwise you're going into a new beginning and whether this is someone approaching you Capricorn may also be from your past doesn't have to be um they want to take a chance on you I think this person did misjudge you like other people in the past because it does feel a little bit like they had to take their time they had to take their time I think they saw you as a shark Mr. Intimidated um and they realized oh they're just a big softy <laughs> and now they're dealing with it okay uh but let's look at the six of cups energy I really like it it feels really really good using Rider weight to clarify talk about the six of cups Time of the Six of Cups for Capricorn. Time of the Six of Cups for Capricorn regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Time of the Six of Cups for Capricorn regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. So you guys could be also taking a family trip with that Eight of Wands and the Six of Cups. Just pointing it out because I see it. I do see it. I just heard audition. I just heard audition. Some of you in entertainment might be um, having, a, oh, a major, major audition coming up here. Um, why is this coming in so strong? Why is this coming in so strong? It feels like, it feels like it's for acting. It feels like it's for acting. I think it's going to actually require a physical move of some kind, even if it's just temporary. So I have the Six of Cups. For Capricorn regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Okay. Two of the Six of Cups for Capricorn regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Two of the Six of Cups for Capricorn. Aww. <laughs> Queen of Cups, Cancerian energy. You can also see Pisces or Scorpio. This is definitely your energy, Capricorn. Oh my God, this is still your energy. You could be channeling your inner Cancer because you are Cappy. Cancer is your natural seventh year. Just love, 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 love. Love and sweetness. It just feels so good. It feels so freaking good. For those who are dealing with romantic interest, they see that in you. Oh my. Four of Wands, Aries energy, and the Lovers in Reverse, Gemini energy. Yeah, for those where this is romantic, they see you, Capricorn. Oh yes, they do. Oh yes, they see you. You're they, you're you don't have you you're not facing them. You're not facing them, but they see you. <laughs> they see you. And with lovers in reverse, I feel like it's just something that needs to be aligned and in tune and balanced out here. Four of Wands, they definitely want to commitment with you. Definitely want to commit with you. They have a lot of emotion for you. It, it's up to them to make this balance. This lovers in reverse energy. It's up to them to make that balanced. Okay. For those, like I said, where it's like you just want to break away and be in an environment where you're understood and not judged all the time and not harassed all the time. You're thinking about 
how to get that kind of foundation, how to get that kind of career, how to get that kind of environment for yourself. You're trying to figure it out because it's really important to you. Lovers in reverse, though, you, you're not quite there in, in trying to figure out making the decision yet once you realize you need to make that decision. It's going to take some time to sort it out is what I'm getting. It's going to take some time to sort it out. Let's see what else we got here. And for those where this is someone from your past, because it can definitely be that with the Six of Cups energy, I think for most of you, you don't have a long history with this person, but some of you do, okay? And whatever happened, they need to make it right, and they know that because they misjudged you. I really feel like it's about that. They misjudged you. Time of the Six of Cups, also a theme I've noticed right now. Time of Six of Cups for Capricorn. I did just hear Cancer. Time of Six of Cups for Capricorn regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Time of Six of Cups for... Capricorn, I keep hearing cancer. For Capricorn, regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Wow. And there's the tower in reverse. Scorpio energy could also be Aries because this is Mars energy. For those where this is about you just kind of breaking away from being misunderstood and breaking away from those kind of environments or people, this is your epiphany about that. This is your epiphany about that. Uh, for those where this is about this person who wants to come in, this is them misjudging you. Overall energy. King of Wands. Yep. King of Wands. Leo energy could also be fire or air. It's that same person. It's that same person. King of Wands is a little bit more quick to make a judgment call than a King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles is grounded. They make decisions, but they make calculated, slowly paced decisions. King of Wands would be like, yes, no, yes, no. They misjudged you in the past. Okay. For the, those where this is romantic interest and for those where you want to break away from an environment that is just awful, family or work or otherwise, uh, it could be a boss figure with the King of Wands as we picked up earlier, okay? Either way, Cappies, you, you, you know what's up. You know what's up. You know what you got to do. And for those where there's, there's a romantic interest afoot, you actually don't know what's up. You don't know someone is looking at you. Your back is quite turned to the whole situation, okay? So pick who you are. Pick how this resonates. Because like I said, very different messages depending on if it's work or family or a love interest here. Let's look at the Nine of Wands, actually, and then I want to look at this, because I feel like this is the energy, like, after all of this plays out, okay? Because this is the intimidation energy that I was picking up on, okay? Um, actually, water. Hold on. Mm. Okay. Mm. Yeah, I'm feeling this one. Let's do it. So I got the Nine of Wands. So the Nine of Wands for Capricorn regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. And of course, if this person is someone from your past, because for a few, few, few of you it is, that's where things went bad, okay? That's where things went bad. So the Nine of Wands for Capricorn. So the Nine of Wands for Capricorn regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Time for this Nine of Wands energy. Ew. Three Wands in reverse, Aries energy. Okay, let's see what else we got out here. Time for the Nine of Wands. Capricorn, for those of us, actually, I'm gonna say all, yeah, all situations. Um, one of the reasons you're intimidating is because it's funny, because I actually would never say this about a Capricorn, but again, I know I'm a little biased. Um, <laughs> where it's almost like they can't read you. That's one of the reasons you're intimidating. They can't read you. They can't read you so they don't know what to expect. Again, whether it's work, family, or this romantic interest, that's one of the reasons they're intimidated. But at the same time, for the romantic interest, they kind of like it a little bit because it's a challenge. Because it's a bit of a challenge, but at the same time, they're intimidated because it's like they usually can read people and they can't read you. They don't know what to expect from you. Kind of like a shark. Hard to predict what a shark's going to do, right? So again, you're not a shark. You're a teddy bear. Tell me about the Nine of Wands. You're just a teddy bear in a shark's costume. Tell me about the Nine of Wands. For Capricorn. Yeah, Three of Pentacles in reverse Capricorn energy. You got uh, two threes here back to back. Just have to point that out. Yeah, this is interesting. Capricorn, whatever reason they're intimidated by you, again, whatever work, family, what have you, whether they lash out at you or not, it's because they can't, they can't read you. And I wouldn't even say you're unpredictable. You don't do anything unpredictable, Capricorn. You think about everything you do. 
Capricorn always thinks about what they're going to do, but because people can't read you, they find that very intimidating and they know that you will always make decisions that you think is best and not necessarily like, how do I say this? If you have to go against the grain, you will, but three of pentacles just upright again. Um, if you have to go against the grain, you will, if it's the best decision, if it's the best decision, you're not afraid to, you're not afraid to say that kind of thing. If it's the best thing, it's the best thing. Interesting. Keep it going. Climb of the nine of wands. Climb of the nine of wands for Capricorn. Whew. Queen of cups in reverse. Can't say an energy could also be Pisces or Scorpio. And it doesn't win you any friends or favors. It doesn't win you any friends or favors here. Um, and for the and for those we have the romantic interest, past or you know more recent. Again, doesn't matter here really. Um, I think you found that to be kind of a painful experience of speaking your mind, not not falling in line, not falling in line. That was not well received. But that's too bad because you're a Capricorn. So I'm in the Nine of Wands. Some of the nine of wands for Capricorn. I think some of you are also really good at putting up your boundaries. I think some of you are really good at putting up your boundaries because you've been hurt in the past or burned in the past by either being misunderstood or just dealing with shitty people. Sometimes that's also perceived as a bit of a threat. But again, I don't feel like you do it overtly. I think you're doing it in true form, in proper form, appropriate form. But because you are Capricorn and you're already misunderstood and then you got those boundaries up, people really um, are intimidated by that. Again, not your fault. Climb up the Nine of Wands for Capricorn regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Ooh, a lot of cards just came out. All right, so we got four more cards. I know it's a lot. Two of Swords in reverse, Moon and Libra energy. And then this batch came out. Ooh, yep, Knight of Wands. Sag energy could also be Aries or Leo with the Nine of Swords in reverse, Gemini energy, and the Five of Wands in reverse, Leo energy. This is the person who was intimidated romantic interest here also this could apply to the workplace scenario as well um as you're realizing like okay i need to get out of these this environment where i'm not understood i need to get away from my, this family the this job and switch jobs and or move like i need to go do that i need to go do that um someone's trying to stop you from doing that someone's trying to stop you from doing that two of swords in reverse Moon and Libra energy with the Knight of Wands, Nine of Swords in reverse, and Five of Wands in reverse. This is someone who wants to get rid of all that tension and fighting and miss, you know, and lashing out energy. But Knight of Wands, eh, I feel like they have good intentions. I just don't think they're very, again, specifically family and business for this one that I'm picking up on. I just don't feel like they're very, is it mature? They have good intentions. I'll put it that way. They have good intentions, but I don't think they know what they're asking of you. For those trying to break away into new situations away from family or or the current work situation you're finding yourself in okay they think it's a very clear-headed decision i would uh, i wouldn't say so um but for those with this is a romantic interest this is them getting over that shit, getting over their inner conflict of why they're intimidated by you personally okay um doing that work on themselves overall energy yeah five of pentacles in reverse taurian energy oh capricorns you're gonna like this cappies for those where you're breaking away from a family situation or a work situation they can't see you go because you're an asset. Are you surprised? I'm not. <laughs> I'm not Cap. <coughs> Damn it. Because mm. you're Capricorn. You're Capricorn. You're a hard worker. You usually bring in the pentacles when it comes to work and or family because you take care of shit. You take care of the shit that no one else will take care of. And so it's like, oh shit, we can't let Capricorn go because we need our pentacles. Because we need our stability. They're going to try to stop you. They're going to try to stop you. And for those with this romantic interest, they just want to get closer to you, Capricorn, because now they realize they've misjudged you. They're getting over their own shit of why they're intimidated by you. And they want to get closer to you. Okay. Oh, and looky there. Six of Pentacles. Uh, Taurian energy. To fix things with you, have a more balanced kind of connection here. To no longer just have that intimidated factor, right? And again, for those where you're leaving a work situation or a family situation because you're just sick of the shit, you're sick of either being taken advantage of or being misunderstood or being lashed at out in the process. They might even try to give you a little bit of a bonus in the work situation here, but this is them trying to trying to stop you, trying to stop you because they need your, they need your stability. They need the abundance that you bring to the family or to the work environment, okay? Now, 
let's get into this last bit where you either break away from family or business or in this romantic scenario where someone comes forward and talks to you. Let's look at the Eight of Wands. Mm, I don't know what I'm feeling. Actually, yes, I do. Steampunk. We'll do Steampunk. And then we'll pull some Oracle cards. Talk about the Eight of Wands for Capricorn regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Talk about the Eight of Wands for Capricorn regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Talk about the Eight of Wands for Capricorn regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Talk about the Eight of Wands for Capricorn regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Talk about the Eight of Wands for Capricorn regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Oh, okay. <laughs> Capricorn. I love it. I like, I'm getting like, I'm getting just grand, big conversation here. A little dramatic, like melodramatic is probably the best word. I'm getting melodramatic communication with this. Uh, Six of Pentacles, Torn Energy with the Knight of Swords in reverse. Gemini Energy could also be air or fire. To make things right, to fix shit, like I said, right? To make things right and to fix shit. For you, you're leave if you're leaving, moving, whatever, you're doing it in quite a grand way. <laughs> you're making your exit known. I'll put it that way. You're making sure people know you're leaving, okay? <laughs> I love it, Capricorn. I love it. Oh, Capricorn, stop it. We're not going there. We're not going there. I just heard kiss my ass. <laughs> oh, Cappy's. Tell me about the Eight of Wands. So I have the Eight of Wands. So I have the Eight of Wands for Capricorn regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Let's see here. Wow. Yeah, for again, for those where this is the romantic interest, like I said, they want to make things right. Might be in a little bit of a dramatic way. But then we have the Queen of Cups in reverse, can't searing energy, could also be Pisces or Scorpio. Queen of Cups came out three times. Yeah, three times in four decks. And then we have the Three of Cups in a verse, Cancerian energy, and then the Knight, not Knight, the King, excuse me. King of Wands in a verse, Leo energy could also be fire or air. This is what this romantic interest is trying to make up for. They're trying to make up for this energy where it seems like you two weren't on the same page or there wasn't like, there wasn't togetherness. There wasn't any togetherness here because they were intimidated. They want to make up for that. And again, for those who are making a grand exit, you're saying kiss my ass on the way out, okay? <laughs> More of that same energy of kiss my ass, I'm not ever coming back here, I'm not dealing with you people again, kind of energy. Overall, we do have the High Priestess in reverse, Piscean energy, also Gemini for me as a reader, with the Hierophant, Taurian energy here. I love this energy. I love this energy because this is basically following your intuition. You're following your intuition, you're doing what you gotta do, you're committed to yourself. You're committed to yourself. You know what you've been dealing with and you know what you need to break away from for those in that family or business energy where they're just lashed out at, you're taken advantage of, you're misunderstood and you're like, I'm sick and tired of carrying the weight. I'm sick and tired of providing the abundance and stability and I don't get any thanks for it. I'm breaking away and committing to myself. And for those where this is the romantic interest from the past or recent, trying to make up for being intimidated, for misjudging you. Um, what did I say? They want commitment. That's going to be revealed to you. And Capricorns, I think you're going to be surprised. Because like I said, you have your back to the situation. You have your back to the situation here. Um, you will be surprised. You're going to be like, you want what? <laughs> you want what for me? <laughs> I thought you thought this, that, and the other. Or for some, maybe you didn't even get an explanation. Maybe they just dipped out, right? Three of Cups in a verse. Maybe they just dipped out on you. And you're going to be like, you want what? <laughs> you're going to give them the eyebrow. <laughs> Uh, let's go ahead and pull some advice, Capricorn. I love this reading. This is kind of a fun reading. Any advice? Any advice for my Capricorns regarding this spread? Any advice for my Capricorns regarding this spread? What time is it? Oh, shit. Okay. Any advice for my Capricorns regarding this spread? Any advice for my Capricorn, oh, Capricorns <laughs> regarding this spread? Any advice for my Capricorns regarding this spread? 
Any advice for my Capricorns regarding this spread? Any advice for my Capricorns regarding this spread? Any advice for my Capricorns regarding this spread? Any advice for my Capricorns? Ooh, Capricorns, you special. <laughs> Scarab beetle spirit, magic works through you. 52, breaking down to a seven. This is a manifestation energy. This is making shit happen. There's also being the blessed one here, okay? Capricorn, you also see all the colors here. I'm drawing all the colors. It's a lot of like lower chakra energy, but then you have the green on the bottom. Using a lot of different tools in the toolbox, like a very magician energy I just got hit with. Uh, Capricorns, you're making shit happen for yourself. Even if you got to break away from family or from a job situation or from where you live, like a home environment or your current city, you're making shit happen for yourself because you're following your intuition and you're not looking back. For those where you're dealing with romantic interests, you're special. <laughs> you are. This person wants commitment with you because they're kind of in awe of you, even if they were intimidated by you in the beginning. Okay. Any other advice? Just keep being you, Capricorn. I know I don't need to tell you that, but just a little reminder. Just keep being you. Any other advice for Capricorn? Oh, oh, I'm getting such like fun energy with this. This is like such play energy. I'm also getting a lot of sexual energy with this too, which is weird. I never get that with this card. Uh, oh, dolphin spirit, this and that are true. 20 breaking down to a two. This is about being balanced and dark. It oh, I think, oh, okay. I was like, what What am I seeing? It's just like a little curl. It was like a light reflection. Anyway, this being balanced in feminine and masculine energy and dark and light energy. Dolphins spend a lot of time out of the water and in the water as well. I mean, more so in the water for being technical about it. But that's that's the energy behind dolphin. It's also a lot of play. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of splashing around, right? Um, it's really, really awesome. And again, it's like when it comes to dolphins, you can't stop looking at them. Oh, Capricorn. You're not a shark. You're a dolphin. <laughs> Screw teddy bear. You're a dolphin. They just couldn't tell. You look the same in the water. They just couldn't tell, Capricorn. <laughs> I don't know why I have so much energy for this reading. Um, but I really like this. It's also, I'm getting more of that like lover's energy with this too. To balance things out and to make things right. Okay, whether you're making that decision for yourself, Capricorn, because when you first realize that you got to break away from your family or your work environment, you're making you're, you're in your feels about it a little bit. And you kind of know that you need to not make decisions from just your heart or just your emotions, especially big decisions like this. Once you get balanced in that dolphin energy, right, balanced in your masculine and feminine, balanced in your dark and light energies, you can make that head over heart decision and make the rational decision that's best for you to break away from family or business or otherwise, okay? Um, and others where this is more of a romantic kind of a situation, it feels pretty damn good. It feels pretty yummy and there's a lot of play and fun to be had there, okay? Let's see what other stuff we get for you guys. Where are we at? 43 minutes? Oh, shoot. Okay. I really don't want to stitch this. Hold on. Any other advice for Capricorns regarding this spread? Ah! Oh my God. Any other advice for Capricorns regarding this spread? This is perfect. Oh my God. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. Otter spirit. You are never alone. 42 breaking down to a six and koala spirit. Spirit has a plan. 35 breaking down to an eight. Do you see what I see? I love the otter spirit came out for you guys. So let's focus on the breaking away to a new city, a new job, a, and away or away from family situation here, okay? Koala Spirit is my blueprint card, and it always leads you to prosperity and abundance and success with that energy of eight here, okay? Because 35 is the five working through the three. It's transformation working through communication. You're changing your ways of looking at things and how you need to take care of people or how you need to tolerate certain shit, and you're communicating what you actually need, right? But this, this is your blueprint card. This is all supposed to happen this way. It's a part of your plan. Otter spirit, you're never alone. 42 breaking down to a six. You will find balance and harmony because at the end of the day, just because those people misunderstand you doesn't mean that other people won't. You know, other people will. You know what I'm trying to say? There's plenty of other people out there, Capricorn, who will understand you, who will have your back, and you will find them on your journey as long as you choose what's best for you and make very balanced decision here, a very head over heart decision. It's part of your blueprint. You're going to find those people. Okay, you'll find your soul tribe, Capricorn. For those of those romantic interests, need I say more? Oh, 44, 44. Need I say more? 
this person, this romantic interest is definitely part of your blueprint. You're supposed to meet this person. This is my two of cups, lover, six of cups energy card. Oh, there we go. Sorry, I know the camera is kind of freaking out there for a minute. I'm going to have to switch these videos, just a heads up. It's going to cut over in about a second, I think. Um, they're part of your journey. They're part of your journey. And it's pretty special and it's pretty fun and it's pretty balanced once they get over their, their issues of being intimidated by you. And they looks like they are working on it actively. They want to work on it. It's like they're cognizant of it and they know they misjudged you and they want to like, you know, make shit right and come and, you know, have this. <laughs> Oh, it's so cute, you know, have this. <laughs> Overall, eagle spirit. Does that say, oh, that's so weird. I got the message again for Koala. I swore that said spirit has a plan. No, spirit has your back. Spirit has your back. 23 breaking down to a five. So yeah, this is change. This is transformation that you're experiencing, whether you're moving away, breaking away from into a new job, a new work environment, away from your family, a new city, a new home, or you're experiencing this romantic interest coming in. For some of you, yes, it is someone from your past. Keep in mind, Mercury retrograde happens on Halloween. Pre-shadow starts on the 11th. People always return during Mercury retrograde. You are listening to your intuition, no matter what. You're listening to your intuition and you're being guided, guided on this path here and you will make the right decisions because you will be grounded in the decision that you make. Even if it's taking someone back, or breaking away okay capricorns i hope you enjoyed that don't forget to go on you on patreon check that out on instagram facebook and twitter and i will see you guys later have a great night cappies namaste